How to make a parametric modular kitchen case work in Revit. Part 13, base unit corner. Let's start. Duplicate base unit one door from our previous tutorial. Copy, paste, and rename the file base unit corner. <coughs> okay. Open the file. Let's check the 3D. Okay, go to reference level. Okay, next. Open the file. Base unit corner filler. Open. Double click. Let's check the 3D. Okay, load into the project, load it into base unit corner, okay, okay, insert, pick, select the unit, go to edit type, okay, duplicate, let's make a type with a width of 65 centimeter. Okay, change the width to 650 millimeter. Okay, next, align. Select this reference plane. Select this edge and lock. Okay, select this reference plane. Select this edge and lock. Okay, next, let's go to 3D view, okay, let's check the family types, let's check the parameters, material finishes, okay, visibility, parameters, okay, Let, let's select the, this unit. Go to edit type, let's map the material parameter, box flash finish, select the box flash, countertop, select the countertop, module, select the module finish, ok, door finish, select the door finish, full handle, ok, let's map this parameter, Pick the button, full handle finish, base finish, okay, dimension, we don't need to map the width, okay, select the depth, select the depth, okay, box flash height, select the box flash height. Okay, box flash thickness, select the box flash thickness, countertop thickness, select the countertop thickness, module height, select the module height, door width, select, no, base height, select the base height, uh, base offset select the base offset and the height select the height okay next box flash on off select the box flash on off side box flash pick the button create new parameter Type side box flash on off. <coughs> okay, okay. Countertop select the countertop. Okay, for the module select the module. For the base select the base. Okay, apply, 
check apply ok next Check the parameter. Go to family types. Let's test the parameters for the depth. Change the depth to 900. Okay. Let's go back to 650. Okay. Box flash height 300. Okay, back to 50, box flush thickness, let's try 10 millimeter, okay, go back to 20, okay, module height, 800, okay, good. Go back to 720. Apply. Then let's try the visibility and check box flash. Okay. Select side box flash. Move the parameter up below box flash. Okay. Apply. Okay. Check boat okay zoom to fit okay save the family okay load into project okay insert Space bar to rotate the family. Okay, pick. Okay. Align. Select the wall surface. Select the box surface of the box flash. Okay. Let's insert base unit. Uh, base unit corner filler open <coughs> load into project okay space bar okay select the unit edit type Check side box flash, then align, select the surface, select the surface, okay, select the side surface, and select the side surface, okay. Next, and select the unit, and let's change it to uh, corner filler with a width of 5 centimeter, okay. Change the width to 0 0.05 meter. Okay. Align again. Select this side surface. Select. Okay. Next. Let's insert the base unit three drawers. Open. Okay. Load into the project. Space bar. Okay. Align. Select the surface. Select the surface. Okay. Select the side surface. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. So we have the case work base unit corner okay let's try 
insert a base unit two door sink. Okay, load into the project. Okay, space bar to rotate the family, then align, select the surface, select, select the side surface, select the side surface. Okay, next select this unit, copy. Okay, pick, then align. Okay, next. Let's create one more unit. Select this unit, create similar space bar. Okay, align. Select this surface. Align, select the side surface. Okay, next. Okay, hide the lines, double click. Okay. Done. Thank you.